Last week, I released a video comparing a bunch of different small, relatively affordable microphones. By far, the worst performing and the most expensive microphone I tested was the Shure Move Mic 2. In my test, this microphone had a lot of issues. One, I could not connect one of the two transmitters. Two, it literally sounded the worst by far. Next, let's do a test very close to my mouth. Which one sounds the best now? Next, let's do a test very close to my mouth. Which one sounds the best now? Next, let's do a test very close to my mouth. Which one sounds the best now? Next, let's do a test very close to my mouth. Which one sounds the best now? And three, when I did a range test and I walked really far away, when I came back, it never actually reconnected. I had to reset the entire device to get it to reconnect. So obviously I had a very negative review of this product. However, other YouTubers also came out with reviews around the exact same time, and they had very different results, no connection issues. A few of them said it was the best sounding microphone and then no reconnection issue either. Well, a company Shure saw my review and they said they think my unit is actually broken. They asked me to mail this back and they sent me a brand new one. I have not yet mailed this back because I want to compare these two side by side. Is there actually something wrong with this or did I make some sort of mistake? If so, I wanna correct it. We're gonna do it live right now. This video is sponsored by NAB in Las Vegas. I'm sure you've heard of this event, but if not, this is one of the biggest events in the entire world when it comes to production. If you wanna see all of the newest camera gear, the newest lighting, the newest software, everything that goes into the largest productions in the world, check out NAB. This is going to take place in the Las Vegas Convention Center from April 14th to the 17th for the exhibits and for the education, April 13th through the 17th. Post-production world, a partner conference during NAB show continues to be the premier global training conference for production and post-production professionals. This year, PPW broadens its scope with the inclusion of visual storytelling for photographers and online video pros. This is an ideal training opportunity for photographers looking to enhance their creativity and technical skills. Check out the link below and use the code FSTOP when registering to get $100 off the post-production world conference registration. So what's very important is that I do not confuse these two units because they're obviously identical. They look the exact same. So I am going to put tape on the older, what I think is the broken unit here. All right, all three are marked. Now, before I open up the new one here, let's go ahead and see if I can get these to pair. Remember, I only got one of them to pair before. So once again, only one of the units is pairing. I spent 20 minutes trying to get this one to pair before. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Now this new microphone didn't come in a box and the little windscreens have been added to this. So this has obviously been opened. I assume it's been checked by somebody to make sure that it's working properly. All right, I finally got both to connect on the new unit. That was a little bit more complicated than any other mic system like this I've tried. It didn't seem to automatically connect, but uh, I got it working. Okay, test number two is going to be an audio test. I'm going to be recording everything going into my uh, F6 recorder here, and I'm going to be using the plug that came with both of these microphones into an XLR adapter, but they are identical XLR adapters, so there shouldn't be any difference there. All right, this is an audio test. Let's listen to these two microphones. They should sound the same, do they? All right, this is an audio test. Let's listen to these two microphones. They should sound the same, do they? All right, I just listened to that test on my desktop speakers as well as headphones, and to my ears, these microphones sound identical to me. And as far as I can remember, the sound quality is the same as my previous test. There's something about this sound quality that sounds very low bit rate. Uh, I, I don't know how to explain it any other way. I'm recording in 32-bit float with this crazy recorder here, so I don't think this should be any problem. But just to be fair, I'm going to do one more test uh, just because I have this on hand right here. Let's compare it to the DJI Mic 2 again and uh, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. All right, I'm currently doing an audio test with the new Shure microphone and my DJI 2 mic. Which one sounds best? All right, I'm currently doing an audio test with the new Shure microphone and my DJI 2 mic. Which one sounds best? Now I am very close to my mouth. Which microphone sounds the best?
Now I am very close to my mouth, which microphone sounds the best? So listening to this test, I feel like I'm getting the same results when I compare it to the first one. It sounds like the Shure is missing something noticeably when you compare it side by side with another microphone. The only way I can explain it is that it just feels like lower bit depth. It feels like less dynamic range to me. It feels a little bit more compressed, but not in a good high quality compression way, more like it's missing something. And what's most confusing about this to me is I've seen these other reviews where people are saying that they think the Shure microphones sound the best. Now, if you're not doing an exact A-B test in the exact same environment, filmed at the exact same moment, I'm sure any microphone could sound the best or you could get easily confused. But if you're doing an A-B test right next to each other, it's very clear to me that the Shure microphone sounds worse in my opinion. Now, I have seen one other review that does do a direct A-B comparison just like me and in his video, I might agree with them that it sounded kind of like the Shure might have been best. So what the heck is going on here? I don't know, but I promise you, I'm not making this up. I don't have it out for any brand. I wasn't paid to do any of these videos. I'm just trying to give an honest review here. And to my ears, it's very clear that the Shure microphones sound worse. So we have one final test to do. That is the range test. If I walk way out of range with these microphones and then come back, Will they reconnect or will they fail to reconnect? Let's go outside and test it one more time. I have the old mic, probably can't see this, old mic and new mic on my chest, running into this recorder here. I'm gonna put this on the ground. I'm gonna go for a long walk. For this test, I did have completely different results. Not only did both microphones, the old one and the new one by Sure, they both reconnected, they actually reconnected at the farthest distance I walked, which was actually better than any of the other microphones did in my previous test. All right, I'm going to start walking back and I'm just going to talk to myself the entire time. Obviously this audio isn't great quality from this distance and it's totally unusable. And it goes to show you just how important internal recording is and the Shure system does not have that. However, it was impressive that these little microphones were able to connect over this entire distance. Why did I get completely different results in this final range test? I don't know, it's just wireless audio for you. You're always getting crazy results and gremlins with wireless audio. It will always fail you when you need it most. That's why for every important job, I always double mic because if something can go wrong, it will go wrong, I guarantee it. So in conclusion, what have we learned here? Well, I went into this with an open mind. I was completely willing to admit if I made some mistake. I got very similar results when it came to the audio test. I still feel like the Sure system has a lower quality sound, for lack of a better word, uh, compared to the other microphones that I tested previously. However, with the long range test, I got opposite results from the first test. It performed really well. However, over a long distance, you're still going to get interference. The audio is still going to be unusable. And therefore, I still have to highly recommend you purchase a microphone that has that internal recording option just as a safety backup. And currently, as far as I know, the two main systems that do this are the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro. As always, I'm trying to be as honest as I can. If I've made some mistake, please let me know. I will delete these videos. I will do another test, but I'm hoping this is it because I'm really over these audio reviews.